Hello, my name is Ant-Man, or Anthony Salinas, and I'm here to talk about The Last Jedi. Now, The Last Jedi came out a few months ago, and I know I'm super late in this review, but I want to share my opinion on how I feel about the movie. Now, you see, when a film like The Last Jedi comes out, it's expected to win over the hearts of many people. Um, it's just because it's the brand, Star Wars. I have no idea why I'm pointing to Marvel posters, but you know what I mean. It's, um... It's supposed to win over the hearts of many people because it's a franchise that's beloved by many. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get that cool. It's a film that's collected by many, or a franchise. Um, preferably, the prequels weren't loved by everyone, but I'm talking about the original trilogy. Those films are loved by everyone. So, when when a new Star Wars movie releases, it's, just, it's expected to be beloved. So, and they, Disney achieved that with Force Awakens and Rogue One. Two really good movies. In my opinion. And with Blast Jedi, they failed. Now, when it comes to Last Jedi, there are two schools of thought basically. Some people think that it's the greatest movie ever made, or some people think that it's the worst thing since Phantom Menace. Now, um, how do I stand on it? Where do I feel? How do I feel about the movie? Having seen it five times, I could officially say to myself, that I... I don't know. I feel that The Last Jedi is... Okay. I feel that The Last Jedi is a flawless movie. It's a perfectly amazing movie. No flaws whatsoever. Now, that being said, there's one flaw. There's one flaw I have with the movie. Now, it doesn't have any to do storytelling wise. No character development whatsoever. Now, you may be thinking, oh, how do you feel about Luke being old and bitter and having no hope in him whatsoever? I don't mind about that. It's a character development. People grow over 30 years of time, and Luke Skywalker grew. No problem with that whatsoever. Or you may be seeing, saying, what did you think about Princess Leia flying like Superman? It's okay. We all want to be Superman. It's okay. And you could also say, what do you think about Poe being a risky pilot and wanting to know the plan? Well, it's human nature to bid into, into literally every single conversation ever. So, yeah. So, um, those are just my, like, criticisms, like, where I could just, like, punch people in the face. And... Now, my one flaw with the movie. Why? Why well, was... It disappoints me so much when it... It disappointed me so much first time I saw it. <sighs> Why was... Why were there no extra alien creatures that Luke took milk from, from their breasts? That disappointed me on so many levels. I wish there was more of it. I wish there was so much more. There should have been at least 10 more of them in that one scene. And you gotta have it in the background as well when they were on the island. You could have done George Lucas to honor him in essence because he is barely a part of these Disney Star Wars movies. He produced for, I think he executive produced Force Awakens. And I'm, I'm not sure about anything else. But he's barely a part of these movies. He could have honored George Lucas. He could have honored the man that brought us. Excuse me. Yes, you can tell I'm a big Star Wars fan. And you could have honored him. You could have honored his best work, Phantom Menace. It's an A plus film. And Attack of the Clones. It's an A plus film. As well. And you could have even honored this. Yes, I own this. Some people think that this is the worst thing ever made, but you know what? I think that's an A-plus film. And I really like the fact that we get to see Jabba the Hutt have a son. Don't blame me if I have that wrong. I haven't seen it in five years. So, oh, and also, another art piece of cinema. Beautiful. Um, yeah, owned oh, also. Yes, I have this also. I'm proud. And...
that's about everything. So, my, what, what, sorry, I'm going off track. My, my point of what I was saying is that George Lucas was barely part of any of these movies. You could have had so much more tentacle, like, squiddy creatures. You had so much more of that. And also, while we're at it, I think that the Rose, like, being so completely selfish and saving Finn when he was about to kill himself to save the Resistance was the best decision that could have happened. It, was, it just hit me right in there. It hit me so bad. It, it was, it reminded me, it reminded me that we're all human beings and that we don't want to see our friends go. We all want to be here and we all want to stay together with one another and survive. So I had no problem with that whatsoever. Even though that she is a complete idiot and completely ruined the whole plan and is literally contradicting herself. But you know what? That's okay. We all contradict ourselves. We all do whatever is necessary to save the people we love. It's okay. Now. That being said. Is this the best Star Wars movie? No. Of course not. Not by a long shot. Okay? I feel that this is not even in the top three. Maybe like... Top zero. Because it's better than number one. So. Well, I think... Like... How did this movie affect me? First time I saw it, I didn't know how to feel. I had to be there undecided. Then I saw it again, and I had more thoughts like myself. I realized, oh, okay, this is the type of movie they were trying to make. And you know what? Even though there is no real lightsaber fight in the movie, that's fine. It's whatever. Everything's not expected. Things are going to be different, things are going to change over time, and if there's no one lightsaber fight, then stop complaining. It's just fine. It's completely unnecessary to blame Ryan Johnson for his creative decisions, and Disney just let, allowing him to do whatever, and not create a retread of the worst Star Wars movie, Empire Strikes Back. So, yeah. I think, I think that we should put more respect into The Last Jedi. We really should, people. Okay, it's 2018. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna respect the directors for creative decisions and ignore all the movie's problems whatsoever just because they make creative differences, if you're gonna say that it's an A plus movie just because they make creative differences and completely ignore everything they were trying to make, I'm sorry. You're lost. That is why I feel The Last Jedi is the best movie, not only of 2017, but also the best movie that we have ever seen in our century.